The movie opens with the introduction of the character, Emma, who is observing a cat through her room window, which is drowning in the water. She remains emotionless here. Actually, she was not feeling regret of drowning this cat, nor she thinks to go to rescue this cat. After this, it is seen that she used to live with her father, and she communicates while taking breakfast. Meanwhile, her aunt approaches to her house, who talks about the new caretaker of, Emma. In fact, Emma's first caretaker had faced an accident, and no one knew this how she faced the accident. Now Emma's aunt has searched a new caretaker for her. When they both are talking then, Emma, tells them about the dead cat. Then it is observed that Emma's father was taking that dead cat out of that pond. It is seen that there was not a little grief on the face of, Emma. That cat might be alive if she saved the life of this cat. Her father is seen who is interviewing her new caretaker. He hires her, observing her manners. Emma, had applied for a new citizenship, she wanted to get this medal. It is seen that she is behaving perfectly with each person of her school. She is playing with some of the kids then a girl strikes with her. Emma, supports that girl. She is also seen practicing to smile at home. Next day was the award day. Her father makes her wear a charming dress. And he leads her to the school where many parents had visited in award ceremony. Teacher announces here that, Milo, has won the medal of citizenship. She was telling her father that, Milo, is the winner of this medal. She did not deserve this medal. She humiliates, Milo. She also asks apology for her this behavior from her father. She takes, Milo, to a cliff. And, Milo, says after a time that, we should return home. Emma, goes near, Milo. Later, something blank comes on the scene. After a time, Milo's parents are witnessed who visit, Emma. They ask her, have you seen our son, Milo, anywhere? She replies, I have not seen him for a long time. Then some girls shout for help who were coming from the direction of Cliff. Milo's parents also go after those girls and they observe while reaching, that their son had drowned to die. He is also given CPR teammate but he had died. Next day, Emma's father asks her while taking breakfast. How is she feeling at the death of her friend? But she overlooks this at all as she did not feel any grief at the death of her friend. At the same day, Emma's caretaker also comes to home. Emma, observes at night that her caretaker was seeing her father's medicine. She thinks as she wants to steal them. She tells her caretaker when she was watching a movie with her, I witnessed that you wanted to steal the medicine of my father. Then she says, you will have to carry out what I order you. I will not say a single word for this to my father. Caretaker gets furious on this. In spite of this, she agrees with, Emma. Next day, there was Milo's funeral ceremony in which everyone was crying. Then, Emma, is also seen weeping before the parents of, Milo. She was pretending as such as she is in full grief at the death of their son's death. When Emma's father talks to Milo's parents, they tell him, Milo's medal is also lost. Emma's father had got worried, hearing this. When he goes to take the dresses for laundry in Emma's room, he discovers Milo's medal there. That he started doubting on, Emma. He witnesses some photos there, in which, Emma, was staring at, Milo. He had started to suspect his daughter. Emma's teacher comes to Emma's house with investigator on the coming day. She talks to her father after coming and reveals that, some kids had witnessed, Emma, with, Milo, on the cliff before her death. Emma's father investigates, Emma, at night. Had you visited the cliff with, Milo? She says in a straight way, I did not visit. Emma's father says to her on this, some people had witnessed you with, Milo, on the cliff. She loses her temper on this and says, that it has been told to you by, Mrs. Alice, and she does not like me. Next day, the same caretaker is seen who goes to Emma's workplace. And she asks the permission to smoke there. Emma's father says to her on this, she cannot smoke here. Because there have been placed many chemicals. When the same caretaker goes outside with, Emma, later, so they may play then they notice that, there is a parked car of, Mrs. Ellis, out of the house. Caretaker tells, Emma, that a case has been hired against her. It is being said that at the death time of, Milo, then you were also with her. Then caretaker leads, Emma, into the house, and she attempts to frighten her while saying, if you have committed this then you will be seated on the criminal's electric chair, Emma, is very frightened on this. In spite of this, she does not accept as she has committed something. Next day, caretaker is seen who was searching for, Emma, in the whole house. Meanwhile, a wasp nest is shown on the roof of Emma's house. Emma's teacher who was driving to her home, then a wasp disturbs her. Then a wasp nest is seen at the back seat of her car which had been placed in her car by, Emma. 
She had planned that her teacher may meet her end in some way by accident. Emma's caretaker also notices that medal, which belonged to Milo. She hangs that medal on the lamp of Emma's father's room, taking this so that Emma may be caught. When Emma comes to her father's room, she immediately hides that medal behind her. Emma's father notices this action, then he makes Emma sit near him. And he asks, my daughter, from where did you get this medal? Emma fabricates a story that Milo himself had gifted this medal to her. Next day, when Emma's father is going to the office, then he also calls therapist on the way, because he wanted to treat her daughter any psychiatric. Then he observes on the way that someone has faced an accident. On the other side, Emma is seen who was asking her caretaker that you had hanged this medal on the lamp. And she was in aggressive mood. Then Emma's father had come there. And he asks Emma to accompany him. And he says, take your medal that you had taken from Milo. Then he leads her to Milo's house. Emma returns this medal to Milo's mother who was seeming so confused. While taking this medal, at the same time, she tells to Emma's father, Mrs. Alice, has been died in a car accident. Emma, pretends to weep as she hears this news. And she tells that she was her best teacher. When she was returning to home with her father, then she quite forgets this about her teacher's death. She was saying to her father, she will bake the biscuits with her caretaker, moving to home. Her father is shocked and worried on her this behavior. Next day, Emma's father is seen who was working at his workplace. The wasp nest had disappeared from his room which was present before. Now he was suspecting that his daughter is involved in the death of Mrs. Ellis. Then Emma's psychiatric is seen whose first meeting held with Emma. Then that psychiatric tells Emma's father that your daughter is like normal kid. Emma had also entrapped that psychiatric through her conversation. Emma's caretaker, Chloe, says to Emma, going there, I can also be your stepmother because your father has affections for me. Emma becomes furious on this and she asks her father, going there, that Chloe is saying to me as she wants to be my stepmother. Do you like her? His father does not respond on this and leaves that place. Then it is seen at night when Chloe was watching TV, then she hears a noise from outbuilding. She moves out of the house in search of Emma, and she glimpses a shadow and she instantly moves to outbuilding. Then someone locks the door of the outbuilding. She was trapped in the outbuilding, and subsequently, the outbuilding is seen ablaze. Chloe peeps through the window where Emma was in standing position. And it was Emma who had set this outbuilding on fire to kill Chloe. Then, Chloe is seen who burns to die in fire. When Emma's father knows about this then he calls the firemen. They extinguish the fire, coming there. But, Chloe, had been died at that time. After this, Emma's father comes to her room. And he asks to her, coming there, was it you who killed, Milo? He says, my daughter, I will take every step to save you. But you will have to expose the reality before me. Emma, tells on this to his father, yes. It was me who had pushed, Milo, from the roof. Emma's father also asks her about her ex-caretaker. Shish tells, yes, she had caught my hand in aggression. As a result, I pushed her from the stairs. In the end, Emma's father asks about, Chloe. Emma, had enraged on this. She shouts with fury, yes. She tried to become my stepmother. So I also killed her. Emma's father had known the whole reality. That his daughter is behind all the crime scenes. He had gone upset too much. That his younger daughter is committing the great crimes. Emma, says to her father, she will not act as such in future. But Emma's father was scared. Next day, officer contacts him. He says, I want to meet, Emma, but her father puts a lame excuse. As she is suffering from high fever, Emma's father was so frightened, as his daughter may not be seized by them. So he had taken his daughter far at the lake house. House guard greets them. At the same day, officer contacts Emma's father again, and he tells him, that building had not caught fire by itself. But someone had set the building on fire. Emma's father had also placed a gun at his home for his safety. And he was thinking as he may use this gun at any time to end this scenario. Then, Emma, turns on all the stoves of the house. So her father may die because of the gasoline. She herself goes out of the house, locking all doors. At the same time, Emma's father wakes up as he smells the gasoline. He opens all windows and the doors quickly. As he witnesses his daughter out of the house, then he had got it that his daughter has attempted to kill him. He goes to his daughter and asks, why did you do this? She says in rage, if you die then I will stay with my aunt who is best one. Her father brings her back into the house so comfortably. 
and he gives her intoxicating drug in the chocolate at night. In the next scene, it is seen that, Emma, is standing before her father. She has caught a gun and she fires the gun at her father. But this bullet does not touch her father but it is stuck into a pillow. Then her father wakes up and asks, how are you waking up till now? Emma, says that you had mixed the intoxicating drug into my chocolate. So I replaced my chocolate with yours. Emma, wanted to fire the gun at her father but he snatches the gun from her at the same time. Emma, instantly call 911. And she hides, going into a lavatory. She informs after calling that, her father wants to kill her. Their guard had also approached there, hearing the gunshot. He checks after coming that, Emma, is hidden in the lavatory. And his father is standing there, pointing his gun at her. Guard wanted to rescue, Emma. Meanwhile, Emma's father kills himself with gun instead of killing his daughter. Emma, notices that her father had fired the gun at himself in front of her. In the end of the movie, Emma's aunt is seen, who has come to carry her. She embraces her. She says, your father had a mental disorder who was saying to all that, you have killed all. How is it possible? It referred that Emma's aunt used to have a firm belief on her. And the movie completes on this scene.